Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this is Ohio Blade HQ, and thanks for watching. Today I have another viewer request. This one comes from Ireland. So uh, there's a viewer, Wingpool Red Dream. Thank you very much, dude, for uh, making the recommendation. We're going to try out this uh, Serenmu uh, 7010 today. So um, these are fairly cheap. You know, I, I, I think I paid around 10 bucks for this knife. And uh, I, I bought it from the wrong place, though, because this had to fly over from China, and it took weeks. I, you know, I should have I looked. You know, if you can find these from a, a USA seller, uh, that's the way to go, unless you're cool with waiting, um, which I, I normally I pay attention to that, but I was so excited to to buy this and I, you know, didn't, didn't look. So packaging is just, you know, your standard plastic packaging here. Um, you do have some writing on the back here. Uh, you even have instructions on how to use the knife, which I found kind of funny. I mean, yep, it goes in your pocket and you open it and close it. Sweet, okay, yep, that's pretty much what you do with a pocket knife. Um, and then you do get a, a bit of a warranty on it. So, um, you know, if, if there's some problem with the knife that you didn't cause, then they'll replace it at no charge within three months of the purchase date. But you got to have your receipt. I don't have a receipt. So hope it doesn't break, but, you know, it's 10 bucks. So if it does, who, you know, who cares? Um, so let's go ahead and, and get this guy out of the out of the packaging here. Um, actually, it doesn't require cutting into anything because you can just pull it open here. Um, and there we go. It's a little guy. It's not. This is not a big knife. Um, there you go. So I went with the this woodland camo pattern on the handle scales because. Uh, I looked at the plain silver ones, and they just didn't do it for me. I wanted something with a pattern. If you haven't guessed by some of the other reviews I've done, I like color and I like pattern on my stuff, so I don't like solid colors as much. I mean, it depends. Some Sometimes I do, but in this case, it was pattern time. So, um, you know, here's the pocket clip. You're going to be tip down, carry. And that is, I believe, the only way that comes. I don't see any holes drilled anywhere else. So, yeah, you're going to be right hand tip down only on that. And it's not a deep carry clip, so not a huge fan of that. It is a, a frame lock, so it is extremely thin. And you do get a little lanyard hole. And there's no flipper, so you're going to be opening with thumb studs, but it is ambidextrous in that regard, so you can flip lefty or righty, which is good for me, because I'm lefty, but, um, you know, overall, you know, it's it's just a smooth, um, it's a smooth handle, and there's no texture or anything, um, it's, it's, it's a pretty simple knife, you know, just a basic frame lock, you know, so um, let's see how she flips out. Oh, nice. Yeah, flips right out. And let's uh, let's do that again. That was pretty cool. Yeah, nice action on it. It almost feels um, it almost feels like it's got a spring, but I know it doesn't. Um, you know, it's not. It's man, that just comes right out. That's so awesome. Um, it it's not fall shetty, you know. So you actually have to push on it to to close it up. But um, you know, until I just screwed it up there. I mean, it just flips right out nice um so it you know it's small it's small in the hand so you're, you're not going to get a, a nice big full manly grip here but uh you know if you're if you're looking for just a small everyday carry knife to do small cutting tasks yeah that'd probably do it for you um there is the the model number 7010 and then I'm guessing the rest of those letters are the specific configuration. So, you know, we got a, a black coated blade. I have no idea what that coating is. Um, 
I'm guessing nothing impressive. You know, it'll probably it'll probably come off pretty easy, but you never know. Um, that does feel like a hollow grind on there, and uh, yeah, it's fa fairly high saber saber grind. You know, you got a a drop point tip on there, and you know it's pretty pretty attractive blade. You know, again, it's it's simple. You know, it's a simple design. Um, you know, the um, the lockup on that is not all that early, and I could feel that when I flipped that out. Um, you know, that is about 50% travel already on that, that frame lock, so, and that's brand new, so, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it, I'd like to see an earlier lockup. You know, it, it's actually a little bit more, it's actually a little bit more than 50% even, I think, so. That's not so bueno, but, uh, you know, 10 bucks, so, okay. Um, otherwise, I mean, it feels good. I, I, I really like the action on that. I mean, it just, well, until I, I screw it up there, you know, it. I think it's harder because um, it, the, the, the relief cut isn't as deep on the, the side I'm flipping on with my left hand. I think it would probably be easier on the right except I suck with my right hand. So, nope, we're going to go back to left. There we go. That's the way it works. <laughs> so, um, you know, the the pocket clip, not tight. I don't know. I mean, it's already loose, and, you know, that's going gonna, gonna to leave a mark on there. It'll focus. But, <clears throat> you know, that's just getting my Torx bits out and tightening that up, but, you know, I don't know, it, it may have come loose when it was traveling on an airplane from China, um, but just thought I should notice, or note that here, that it ain't tight, so, um, yeah, pretty simple, lightweight little knife, so, uh, yeah, thanks for the, thanks for the recommendation. I mean, for for a ten dollar knife, it's not bad. I like the action on it. Let's uh, let's see if it's sharp. Does it come sharp? Not bad. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty sharp. It's pretty sharp. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. So, um, yeah. Good honing. Let's try. Uh, let's try magazine paper. Where did I put that? There it is. Get the magazine paper out, and we will cut on this. Bud K. You know, I get like a billion of these because I buy from them. So, you know, when I cut one up, I get two more in the mail. So, no big whoop. But yeah, that's nice and sharp. Yeah, it comes nice and sharp. So, uh, yeah, cool. That'll work. That'll do, pig. Um, so, yeah, just a little little tightening on the pocket clip, and this guy should be good to go. So let me know what you guys think about the uh, Serenmu. It's, uh, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with it, being, you know. I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't carried it yet. Um, it does have some nice, nice jumping back there. Um, it doesn't look like it'd be super aggressive, but man, that, yeah, that works. It does, it does lock your hand right in there. So that's nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm good with that for 10 bucks. Sure. That's a nice little knife. So thank you for the recommendation. If you guys have more recommendations on what you'd like to see on the channel, please uh, please let me know, and uh, we will see what we can do. So I'll take all recommendations into consideration. I can't promise I can uh, do everything you guys want, but you know we'll uh, we'll do what we can here. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, remember to subscribe for more videos and more giveaways. We'll have some of those coming up too. So 
Thanks for watching.